Hey there you guys, Sean Allen here. It is December 14th, 2016. For those of you who didn't watch my live chat on the Disney Video Series, I mentioned I might be heading out to the LA Zoo today. I really don't know if that's going to happen today, but we'll see. I kind of was up late last night, like 3 a.m. I didn't wake up until like around 9.30, so... I mean, it's about six hours of sleep, but I would have liked to have gotten a lot more. As of right now, I am actually categorizing or adding a bunch of comic book titles into my comic book database. Uh, as you can probably guess, I am a huge comic book nerd because there's a whole bunch of comics here that I have listed in here. How many Batman comics do I have here? There's so many. Oh, 131. Jeez. How many do I have total for comics? Six. 125. Yeah, that's a lot of comics. I have some that are very old and some that are somewhat new. Look at that. That's like maybe almost all of the 600 comic, comic book issues. And there's some down there that are some exclusive ones down there. Those are my graphic novels. I do actually have a couple that are on my shelf up here that I think are very cool. I've mentioned about these before. Well, actually, I added one recently. This used to be a Batman comic, but I replaced it with Mr. Miracle. This was a character that Jack Kirby came up with. This was another character that Jack Kirby came up with. It was Omac. And I'm trying to remember which video it was that I talked about this one. It was my... Uh, I think it was the video on the Disney Video Series about the off-the-page shop. So if you guys want to check that out and learn the history about that one, go and check that video out. And there's Thor and Flash and Doom Patrol and Daredevil. As you can probably guess, I do have some action figures from the DC Universe. When the Power Rangers come out, these guys will be coming down because, you know, Justice League is not out just yet. I know Batman vs. Superman was out for a while and I got these during that time period. So, yeah. And I only have one Suicide Squad member as Harley. <laughs> you know, ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Look at that. Someone actually gave me this. Look at that. 1960s Batman. Love it. Anyways, I don't know if I'll be heading out to the zoo today or not. We'll see. I would like to be able to go, but um, if it doesn't happen, doesn't happen, I might actually head to the P.O. Box instead to find out if I got any viewer mail. I'll be back with you guys in just a second to find out what we'll be doing next. By the way, for those of you who have been wondering how Sylvester is doing, he's still with us. He's actually doing a little better. There was a period where I was kind of nervous about his health, but here he is. He's perfectly fine. He's still hanging in there. Hey, he's Sylvester. I haven't showed you guys Sylvester in a while, so if those of you thought he was gone, nope, he's still here. Well, I'm heading off to the P.O. box. Got a plane and a train! Amtrak! That's cool. Love trains. Griffith Park's known for their horses and for horseback riding. And there's a horse coming up here that's trotting along here with a very graceful walk. Look at the legs on that thing. It's got like a bunch of fur or hair on the, the legs. That's pretty cool. The fire danger today is low. That's awesome. By the way, at some point here, I will have to talk about Tregnan Golf Academy. That's basically a golf academy for kids, and I was going there when I was, like, 13. I started going there when I was 13, I think I left when I was 15. So I was there for a couple of years. Basically, I was learning how to play golf and all that. I did okay. I still stink at it. <laughs> but, yeah, I think a lot of people stink at it. If you want to watch good golf, you got to watch the pros do it. By the way, my grandfather used to play golf when uh, I was little. And uh, I remember playing with his putters around at his house. We actually have a bunch of his golf clubs. Good times, good memories with my grandpa. And here we are, folks. Well, it's not, we're not here just yet, but it's the L.A. Zoo. I see my old spot from before is open. Sweet. Parking by sea for camel. Where is it? There it is. All right. Let's check out some animals. <laughs> So right now they got the zoo all set up for Christmas. And for those of you who are wondering, are the dinosaurs still here? Yes, they are. I thought they'd be gone by now, but they're still here. So catch them all you can, guys, because the dinosaurs are still here. Yeah, good to see you again. See you here still eating that fish. <laughs> so they got it's the LA Zoo lights. It's nightly from November 18th through January 8th. Celebrate the holidays. 
They've also got the reindeer romp. We got reindeer out here. It's relatively quiet today because not a whole lot's happening. It's like around the time when the finals are still going on. Kids are in class right now. Alligator talk at 11:30. There, that. Whoa! Wait a minute. You got yourself a friend. There's two alligators. So which one is Reggie? Reggie's the one on the left. He's the big guy. Got yourself either a friend or a soulmate. Look at that smile. <laughs> well, Reggie's even got a little decoration on his little area too. Wow, they got this back up and running. I don't think anybody's in here. Although I could be wrong. Oh, it looks like it looks like they have their own uh, maybe version of uh, World of Color in here or something. And they got they got extra sprinklers in here. For the last couple of times I've been here, I don't think this has been on. This used to be the old seal pool, but now the seals are over by the front. That's awesome. They got this back up and running. Here's my usual stop: the zoo grill. The Smosh Squad was over here when they came to the zoo. That's pretty cool. So instead of the burger, I got the chicken strips. They already had them available, so there you go. Sweet. I also got some ketchup and gotta try the barbecue sauce. So lunch was good. It was really good. I liked it. Looks like they got a leaking problem in here. Obviously, this hasn't been used in a long time. All right, here we go. Into the cave. Anybody home? Oh, here they are. I think there's only two of them. Ooh, there's a tarantula. There's a tarantula. It's a little guy. But cool, they got a tarantula in here. Doesn't look like they got a scorpion in here. They used to have a scorpion in here before, but not anymore. But the tarantula is there. So that was just a little quick visit. It wasn't like something I wanted to spend a long time in there, but I mean, I've been in there before. But I was just checking to see what they had, and obviously they still had the tarantula, which is cool. So, anyways, walking out towards the flamingos and other animals. Look at this. I've never seen the zoo so empty like this before in a long time. Well, it is in like, it's like around two o'clock, but still, it's like, there's like almost nobody here. You've got this here. It looks like this might be where they have a band. I guess they have a band come in here and perform. That's cool. Over in here is where they have reindeer. It looks like they might be. Well, I don't, I don't think they're out. A lot of presents over here. Oh, no, there they are. That's cool. Okay, so which one's Rudolph? So there's four. I see possibly five. They got a little display area right over here where it has the house. So anyways, that's part of the nighttime edition where they have all the Christmas stuff out here. As you can see all the lights up here as well. I was here two years ago, three years ago when they had this, when they first started doing this. That was really cool. That was actually cool that they had the reindeer out even for the daytime hours. Look at this. They got these like vine lights right in here in the tree. This looks really cool right here. They got white roses in here that are going to light up as well. Yeah, see these light up right here. That is really cool. Looks like a white rhino taking a bath. <laughs> I guess those are birds up above there. They look like they look like the the uh, the gummy bears. Hey, buddy! It's Timon from The Lion King. He's just sitting up there on that rock, like saying to himself, "Akuna Matata, what a wonderful feeling!" <laughs> You got the flamingos over here. These look new, actually. I don't recognize these being here from last year. 
or maybe not last year, but a couple years ago. There are a bunch more flamingos here this time. There was only two in here when I was last year. There's a couple of gray ones in here too. By the way, you notice these elephants up here. These are actually special elephants that they project images onto. So at night they'll have like Christmas present wrapping around them and like other types of projection like stars and everything. So I think candy canes as well. It's really cool. And those are the cameras right there. That's what helps project the images onto those elephants. Now these have been here before. I organized these from many years ago. I used to have this event over by the Wilson Harding Golf Course where you drive down this road and they have all these lights on and yeah, they these used to be along that route and they brought them here to the zoo. There's the buffalo up there. There's a giraffe as well. This is where they had the original elephants right here. See right here, that's where they had them installed two years ago. Now they're in a different area. It looks like they've got the projections up again. Maybe up on these little scr these scrims up here. And they brought this back. So th what's going to happen is that at night these will turn different colors. With the light. Here's Happy Holidays. Whoa! I just saw this guy fly around. The condor. Look at the size of that guy. Gee whiz. Indian condor. Whoa, boy. This guy used to be in the bird show many years ago. Got a scarlet macaw in here. Getting a little bit of heat from the, the light over there. It's just chilling there on the branch. Oh, there's two of them. Just taking it easy. He's like, hey, we're on camera, dude. Let's get together. And last but not least, we got the military macaw. And here, I've seen him before. There he is. He or she, I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. There's one. Get some heat from that light up there. And there's two. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is a military macaw right there. Okay, let's see that wingspan one more time. Woo! Nice. Alright, see you guys. We got the giant otters over here. Looks like they're about to take a bath. <laughs> they're looking around for something. They're digging in the ground. Hey darling, I lost my wedding ring. Let me look for it. Oh, it's probably by the pool. I think over here are the giant tortoises. It's either that or they may have moved them. Yeah, this is usually where they have the, the tortoises. Looks a little overgrown. I don't see the tortoises. They could be on the other side. Well, it could be that they're hibernating because it's getting close to winter, so they usually hibernate. So maybe the tortoises are not here. But I'm going to check on the other side. Too cold for tortoises. Right there on the sign. <laughs> yep, so they're off on vacation, obviously. Oh well. Snow leopard! It's in here. I didn't miss it. <laughs> Question is... Oh, there it is. There it is. There's two of them. They're just chilling up there. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Two snow leopards right up there. Kind of remind me of the cats because they like to hang out together. Somebody's making a racket over here. Let's go find out who that is. It's trying to be a very quiet day here at the zoo. Let me just say. Oh, the bamboo in here. Jeez. So much bamboo. Look at that. Like nobody's here. <laughs> I have the whole place to myself, literally. Well, I've seen a couple of other people around here, but it's been relatively quiet today. It's very good. <laughs> The neighbors are like, oh god, here they go again with their racket. <laughs> Do you guys mind the noise? 
You're like, we're used to it. <laughs> These guys are like, good grief. Hey! <laughs> there you go. Wow. Given that was what was swimming around there. I found the source. And fish eagle wants to join in on the conversation. Look at you. Kind of look like the bald eagle. I was completely ignoring these guys. <laughs> like, this is my best side. Get my best side. Here's my best side. Oh, yeah, right there. How about this side? Oh yeah, yeah, the that side. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him right there, but poking his head out right there is an ostrich. What? <laughs> he like shook his head like, nope, you don't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> it's like if I stay perfectly still, he won't see me. Yeah, I'm looking right at you, ostrich. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> How you doing? He's looking directly at us. He's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I remember one time when my family went up to Solvang, we saw this whole zoo of like, well, actually it was a farm of, of ostriches. That was amazing. And emus too. So yeah, ostrich land. I think that's what it was called. Ooh, hibiscus. Whoa, hello. Hi there. I hope, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Oh, copy. Oh, copy? I think that's right. Sorry if I mispronounced it. <laughs> nice legs. I think I hear the tram coming up behind me. I better, I better make a run for it. They do have trams out here, so I gotta make sure I don't get run over by it. I think it's directly behind me. Well, that's a different type of tram. The front's different. Usually the trams are smaller, but that one's bigger. Interesting. Wow. There's a shot for you. These trees. It's very humid in here, too. <laughs> I think we've entered Simba's land. Simba's territory. This is the African lion. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. There we are. There's Simba right there. Oh, that's not the lion's name, obviously, but taking a nap. Lioness is like, hey, come over here. He's like, no, I'm crashed over here. <laughs> oh, he woke up. Aslan is up. The lion is up. She's like, come over here. He's like, okay. Oh, nope. I'm gonna either get something to eat or something to drink. He's like, I didn't order water, I ordered a protein shake.
No, I think he drank something bad. He was like, oh, yuck. <laughs> Just got a really good picture of the lion actually looking my direction. Sean, post the photo now. I'll probably post that on Instagram because that was a good photo to catch. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Well, I got my camera a little bit of battery charged, so see you, Reggie. Take care. Take care to your friend in there. <laughs> and we are exiting. There's the cookie monster. <laughs> well, that was fun. Unfortunately, I, there was a piece of footage that got erased by accident because the battery died. Oh well, it was some zebras, but I got photos of them. Anyways, heading out, get myself a coffee, and then head home. There's my car. Next, that big bus. The big school bus. Well, after checking out my Facebook and Instagram, it's time to head home. First, I need to leave. <laughs> Once again, the dinosaurs are still here. They're behind that wall right there. So if you guys want to see the dinosaur exhibit, it's still here. There it is. The zoo exit. Here's Travel Town. Celebrating 64 years of train history. That is awesome. I'm hoping to get back to the Travel Town videos very soon here, guys. So be on the lookout for more train videos on the Travel Town, the Travel Town series very, very soon. But yeah, 64 years. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mocha Ice Blended. I accidentally called it Mocha Frappuccino, <laughs> which is what I get at Starbucks, but the guy knew what I was talking about. He said Ice Blended. I was like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Well, you guys, that's the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to check out my other three channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. By the way, just want you guys know that we were at another place today. It was fun and exciting and educational. I'm not going to say anything else about it because I don't want to give anything away. Well, I'll give you a couple of spoilers. This place involves mastodons and saber-toothed tigers. No, it's not Power Rangers stuff, although if you want to think it that way, yeah, but... It doesn't involve Power Rangers, but involves those type of creatures and the Ice Age. That's all I'm going to say. So you have to find out in tomorrow's vlog. If you want to find out what happens in tomorrow's vlog, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. And that's pretty much it. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. All the links are down below in the description of this video. If you can't see any of the links I've mentioned, click the Show More button on the description box. Well, guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. End scene.